You're looking into the eyes of a robot, and he's looking back at you. He's curious about who you are and what you're up to. This is Vector. This is a video about Vector. He's a new creation from Anki. He is a character, a robot, that is meant to live in your home. He's always on, he's alive. The idea is really that Vector becomes part of the family or that home, both on the emotional character side, but then also on the utility side. Vector is really the first robot that uses advanced deep neural networks to do a lot of perception and understanding of the world around him. What he does feels intentional. He can react to inputs in his environment and his life. We generally want to find one defining feature and then build from that. For Vector, curiosity was a big one. What they're saying is you officially live in a time when robot sidekicks are a real thing. Hey, Vector, give me a fist bump. It's a step closer to that sci-fi robot, you know, that everyone wants to be friends with. That step closer means you've got a robot in your house waiting for you to get home. Autonomous like a Mars rover, aware enough to avoid falls like a tightrope walker, Ooh. and always excited to welcome you home like a loyal companion. What's up, Vector? Jason. Vector's no slouch roommate, either. He's happiest when he's helping out. Ask him the weather, then he'll show you. He can set a timer and cause a commotion when it's finished. Activate robot alarm. And he can connect his robot brain to the internet to answer your questions. Definition of life, the characteristic state in the world of living. He's a little robot who brings a lot to your house. He's also a little robot with nearly 700 parts. That one right there, that's his soul part. Okay, I made that one up, but the little guy's got soul. Let's get someone in here to tell him what all this stuff actually does. How does he hear? Vector has a microphone array, which allows it to hear voices and noises and understand where it came from. What's he used to see? Vector uses a wide angle camera. Why doesn't he fall off the table? Four drop sensors. How come he doesn't bump into stuff? Has this laser distance sensor right here in the front. Whoa, robot lasers? How do we know he won't use that for evil? We have a very strict quality control process to make sure that um, no evil robotic overlords emerge from, uh, from Vector. This thing is just awesome. There's gotta be a huge amount of code inside the robot. There is a huge amount of code inside the robot. It's a few million lines of code at this point. That software really encompasses uh, everything from the character to the low-level operating system to the cloud functionality. He has a camera in his face, and that's actually one of his primary sensors. Not just capturing the light in all the pixels, but it's making sense of those pixels. He knows what it is and where the stuff is. That code creates his intelligence and his personality. We think both about the IQ and the intelligence, as well as the EQ and the emotion. You feel something for him. You bond with him, relate with him, care about him, and you feel that he can relate to you and give you something back. He is your friend. He was built to help and delight and entertain you. That is delightful and entertaining. So instead of sitting back and waiting for the robot apocalypse, Anki is making super smart robots built to bring joy and companionship to humans. Did I mention he likes to be pet? I know. Vector is a really big milestone for robotics because for the first time ever, there will be hundreds of thousands of people living with a robot in their homes, and that has never happened before. Vector is ready to live in your house. Or at least he will be after this nap. Sweet robot dreams, buddy.